Step 6. Defining Holes in the Beam Activate the 4.6.1 point defining a hole preset view in the navigator. First, select the beam and make sure that the beam tool is active. Click on the beam's reference axis 4.34 meters from its starting point. The pet palette appears with the possible editing choices. Click the Insert Hole in Beam icon to open the Tools Settings dialog box. This lets you set the hole parameters. Choose Circular Shape, set the value of the size to 0 0.40, and type 0 0.35 as position value. Set the contours on plan as shown, and close the dialog box. The first hole is placed automatically. Activate the 4.6.2 Multiplying Holes in 3D View in the Navigator. With the Beam tool still activated, select the hole in the beam. Click on the selected hole again. In the appearing pet palette, select the Multiply icon. Set the number of copies to 29. Choose the Vertical Displacement Off radio button and activate the Increment Geometry method. Return to the 3D window and start the operation. Type 1.10 meters for the distance and hit Enter. Activate the 4.6.3 Point Copying Beams and Columns preset view in the Navigator. Draw a selection marquee around the construction elements to copy them. Activate the Column tool and choose the Select All Columns and Marquee option from the Edit menu. Next, click the Beam tool in the Toolbox and activate the Select All Beams and Marquee option. Do not copy the column at the A1 grid intersection lines. Deselect it first, then choose the Edit, Move, Drag a Copy command, or right-click and select Move, Drag a Copy. Move the elements as shown.